Hello YouTube. Today we will be reading Prairie Town by Bonnie and Arthur Geisert. Copyright 1998. During the early 1900s, railroad companies laid tracks across America's open land and fields of grass beside the new tracks. Surveyors planted their stakes and the prairie towns grew. The towns prospered amid the bounty of wheat fields and green areas dominated the sky. In the spring, a warm wind blows over the prairie and through the town. Another growing season has begun. Farmers are busy planting crops and making hay. See, there's a train heading toward the green elevator. There are track. There's a few tractors everywhere. Farmers going driving their tractors everywhere across the prairie. The sights, sounds, and activities of spring are everywhere in the school and in the churches. Homes and businesses built along streets laid out on a grid. The green elevator, skyscraper of the prairie, stands on a prize lot beside the railroad tracks. See, there are children during recess, and there's a fire department rushing to a fire on a burning house. There's the green elevator, and there's a farmer bringing, presumably, wool to the elevator little town, and there's another tract farmer at work plowing the fields. The town and its farm neighbors are economic and social partners. They provide goods and services for each other. The backyard is a favorite place where families extend their work and play. See, as the freight train passes the water tower, it's being painted. The roof is, top is blue and painting the blue walls blue. The top is being painted red and blue. Being the side walls blue. Here are some children in the yard. The mothers hang up her towels and clothes Mari to dry, and the children having fun while the girls giving a flower flat bouquet, and the boys following the dog in his wagon. As spring warms into summer, the trees, grass, and gardens mature. The corn grows fast, and children no longer merely dream of summer. Change is always taking place. Some changes are very visible, others Effect only a few. See, there's the newly painted water tower, and there's the house being rebuilt after that fire, and there's a burial going on at the cemetery. See, at the green elevator, there's a lull in business before the harvest season. Workers have time to watch the comings and goings of the harvest. In midsummer, the grain ripens, and the harvest machines put into full gear on the farms. The green elevator in town becomes a busy place. See, there's a moving tr tr a truck transporting mobile home as the employees of the grandmother watch it. And there's a, har there's a farmer harvesting the field, and another harvester in the field in the background. Trucks haul load of their load of grain to over during long days of summer days of harvest. Trains carry grain to faraway markets, making room for more grain in the elevator. See, there's a tra tra freight train being loaded with grain. There's the cattle by. There's a, a, looks like it's a, where it's about to rain. See, pe some men, some men are building a fence. There, there's an earth farm tractor. On beautiful days, the to whole town is the children's playground. But weather can change, and the sky is watched anxiously when clouds appear. Life is affected by the weather. A town's business depends on the farmer's good fortune. Rain can ensure a good crop. A hailstorm, drought, or a tornado can destroy it. See, every series that the children aren't at school. School's out for summer. Like someone was trying. So these children were trying to build a tree. Have been trying to build a tree house, and uh, the tractors are out again. And it's, everything thing seems to be so quiet. When a carnival comes to town, there's excitement in the air. Circus animals, carnival people in costumes and whirling rides are welcome change in routine. One day each week, the sounds of livestock can be heard from their pens at the sale barn. Farmers bring animals to sell and buyers bid at weekly auction. See, there are children having fun at the carnival. There's Ferris wheel, there's airplanes, the horses, the elephants, trucks, and there are the people, or the People, livestock farm for the auction. Shorter days and cooler temperatures trigger fall frosts. 
Leaves fall from most trees. In the cornfields, ears mature on dry stalks under a interrupted sky. School spack in session, farm children swallow the population during the day. At night, activities such as sports and music bring fans and families together. See, there must be another fire. The truck, they're harvesting a truck. The children are going back, there are children going back to school. And, and everything seems to get shorter again. One night each week, often Friday or Saturday, is a big night in town. Businesses stay open, people come to shop and visit. Everyone knows everyone else's name. The people in and around town call it their hometown. See, people are hanging at the restaurants, the dry goods, the gazette, people are at the post office. Winter soon follows fall. Arctic and snow bring a blizzard to the town. Snow covers the streets and yards and is blown horizontally through the air. People stay in their homes. Travel is difficult and vehicles are stranded. This wind sweeps the snow into high drifts of its buildings and fences. See, everything is, or everything is covered in snow and people can't go anywhere. See, that, that tow truck has a broken down car. Somewhere it can't go anywhere. When the wind dies down, the cold night air carries the howls of coyotes. Most people wait till, until morning to shovel the snow plays to start as soon as the drivers can see. See, there's the moon. People have houses, lights on, especially the school, the church, the cemetery, other church, the churches, I should say. Ch church, there's one church, two churches. There's the green elevator. Shoveling out is a long, hard work. School is canceled if the roads are blocked and the snow day becomes, as always, more holiday for the children. The stores are busy after people emerge from snowbound homes, especially the grocery store. See, there are the children having fun, and the children having fun snowball fighting, and there are the children, people, people shopping in the grocery store. This woman's, this woman, her daughter, girl and her mother, weighing a roast pound of beef, and it's January. Winter eventually loses its furry. The warm wind and the meadow lark songs herald the return of spring to the prairie town. The fragrance of new growth is in the air. Spring work fills the day. See, it's spring again and the children, their children having are on the playground. The tractors plow chars in action with his tractor. Their, their tractor is on the street. Earth, people are got a, a new building is being built, probably a new green elevator. Uh, there's another train in the background. There, that's it. A year has passed in the prairie town. Stories of everyday life continuing from season to season can be seen in the illustration. The story just tells people at work and play. People are busy repairing and maintaining homes, yards, businesses, and services. The post office chimney, a fence, a fire truck, a backyard barn, bird baths, and dying trees are tended. A junk filled yard is finally cleaned up. New construction takes place at the house that burned at the surveyed site of a second green elevator. A tree house, more visible in fall, is made bigger in summer. A country home is moved to town. A new family moves into a house that it's sold. More playground equipment was added in the schoolyard. A lumber spill, a hole in a fishing boat, a runaway cow on sale day, a traffic ticket, and graffiti on a newly painted water tower are aggravations that cause extra work. The prairie town experienced the joy of wearing and the sorrow of death in this year. There was bounty in the green fields and the pumpkin patch. And one backyard is filled with new spring puppies. And that's it. Thank you for watching.